Nah, I, I fucking... I remembered why I stopped streaming with a green screen. I fucking... It's right here. I'll show you. Just fucking... Four years ago, go throwing allegations around. It's fucking here. Let's see this. And see that. See that shit? Oh, fuck. Hey. 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 A king by twenty perchance, 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 a king by twenty perchance. A king by twenty perchance, 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 a king by twenty perchance. A king by twenty perchance, 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 a king by twenty perchance. A king by twenty perchance. You need to shut the fuck up. Perchant perchance. I know, right? Absolute fucking chud bot. But thank you for the 44 month resub, Biz. I appreciate your face. And thank you for the 7 month resub, LP, you absolute mad lad. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. Love your work. So, yeah, I, I did I did actually work on this before. Hey, it's force play with the change hat. Start out with the, the classic daddy. Love you too, son. Um, so yeah, I did, I did start working on the green screen and then I was like, I remember why I stopped streaming with a green screen because setting it up actually turned me off fucking streaming at all. So yeah. It's much easier. I just come in and say, hey Google, turn on some fucking lights and Bob's your uncle. So I'm going to stick to using it for, um, video content and I do have some pretty cool video stuff coming because I was trying to get that working the stream tonight, I didn't actually get around to doing what I'd hoped, but um, yeah, it'll be it'll be coming soon. Promise. Love you. But um, what were we gonna do? So we changed hats. Let's fucking let's let's watch some Gamescom. So it goes for like two hours apparently. I didn't realize it went for that long. So we might not watch it all, but we'll watch we'll watch some of it. I, I'm I, I'm just curious because. <laughs> Two seconds. Um, shit. Yes, they are read Shrek movie script on my iPod. Man of culture, I see. Uh, fuck, where is the... Oh, here it is. Um, two seconds. Oh shit! Among Us guy's back there. He's been there the whole time, pretty sure. Oh shit! A rat! Ah. 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 You son of a bitch! Hey, Pluto I Digitech, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome to Dad's country. All right, so we got L we got LP's fucking yeah. No, right, gravity fucking got him. He fucking took a beating, the cunt. And now I've got fucking nerf boards around where my chair moves. It's all your fault, LP. Fuck. Why you do this? Why do you make me use, do my fucking stream redeems? What the fuck? All right. <clears throat> yeah, so we're going to be watching the Gamescom opening night stuff because I haven't watched it and I probably won't unless I watch the whole thing. Because, yeah, I, I can be fucked. But I've heard there's some good stuff, so let's, um, let's fucking go, eh? Yeah, I was just saying before, Tack, I, I went to set it up and then I remembered why I stopped using a green screen on stream because setting it up's a fucking pain in the ass every time. And I'm not leaving it there, like, all the time. How are you on this fine Wednesday evening, Pluto? Hope you're doing well. And I was thinking after we finish watching this, I might play some Dinkum. But here we are. So I've set up some counters here. Let me just... Um... So we've got a good and a shit counter for um, each, each thing. 
We'll make good grain. And we'll make shit. This fucking poo looking color. There we go. Poo brown. All right, so let's fucking let's let's hook in. I'm actually pretty keen because I've seen some um. Welcome to the stage, stuff. the creator of the Game Fuck, Awards, Jeff Keeley. Let me know if that's too loud. Jeff. Oh my God! Hello, everybody. How you doing? Hey, Jeff. Living the dream, bro. Fuck, bro. Let's go. Oh, we Jeff. We want the community to build this. Happened to we Jeff. Want to beat their worlds. We want them to tell their Where'd stories you go? in their game. I think it's human nature to navigate uncharted territory. What the fuck is this? To find a place where we're free to explore. Jeff was just like, creative, so good to have a live event and then skip straight to this. That's crazy. The goals are to make an experience that's unlike any other, which is such an exciting thing to be part of. I think ultimately, like, that's kind of been the big ambition is to create this kind of, like, open world that can be built out in every direction. What's this? I think it's every day is a new discovery and it's constantly growing. We've put a lot of focus, I think, on the current zeitgeist and what it means to represent yourself digitally. This is more than a game. It's a labor of love. It's a labor of passion. The dream is to create a whole new world for the next generation of gamers. And I think that we've we've kind of captured that. Players will play a massive part in this. It's not going to be just our game. It's not going to be just what we decide to do with it. There's something in it that will definitely appeal to you, no matter what it is that you love to do. The really mm, thrilling I call bullshit. aspect of all this is that people are going to get to see what we're doing for the first time. I'm just so excited for people to see what we've been doing for right, the last Biz. five years, pouring our hearts and souls. Like, welcome to leave it. And, and then you cut right you as you not even finish, finish the sentence. have to wait just a little bit longer. Everywhere has become more than just a video game for us. And today, we're delighted to give you a... Everywhere, you say. ...at what we've been working on. Mate, I'm excited for you to show me. I'm hyped. All everywhere, hey? So what is it? They said it's literally everything. But like, what? There you go, everywhere. I don't understand what it is. A ton of questions, and joining me now from Build a Rocket. What are you? Is Adam Whiting to hopefully answer some of those? Because it's like it's got everything, and then they're like, here's some colorful cars and shit. Boys, I'm gonna preempt this. What game is this? What can you tell us, Adam? Shit. Well, firstly, can I just say it's really exciting to just be here, and we've been looking forward to coming out of stealth mode, and really delighted to start the conversation today here at Gamescom. Now, I won't uh, you know what I did. everything, but what I can say is that... But really to put the right counter on this, there we go. I think the scope and ambition of this project are Brand. quite unlike anything else. We want to build a whole new world for gamers, and not just a place to play. Fuck, watch, when did share, I ask? Create, hang out with your friends, and so much more. Well, I gotta say, uh, the end of the trailer, I think we all were taken aback by, whoa, change, change art style, this seems totally different. What, is that part of everywhere? What can you tell us? Well, Jeff, that's one of the many surprises we've got in store for players. I mean, we are passionate about making games and telling stories, but ultimately we made everywhere to be a place where players can make their own experiences, be who they want to be and tell their own stories. Ah, so it's one of those games that isn't actually a game. It's just, just people making content for your game for you. you say we want people to have their cake and eat it, and everywhere is a place that can happen. All right, well, Nicole, like I already old, had uh, it. Vision for what you're doing here. Uh, the other question I'm sure we're all wondering is, we didn't see any date on the trailer. Any sense of when we're going to get to play this thing? Where are you at in development? 
Well, I'm delighted to say that we aim to have everywhere in the hands of players in 2023. But we can we make the counters bussin' and cringe? We sure can. Over the coming months. And we're really excited for you to sign up on our website, everywhere.game. But really, today we're oh, just a fuck, bro. I'm definitely not going to do that. And see what the team has been so hard at work on. And we're really excited to get this I'm definitely the not going to sign up on your website. Possible. Sorry to, well, Adam, thank sorry you for to break it to you. Here at Gamescom. It's awesome to have so many European studios on stage. And tonight, we've got a lot of European oh, studios. Oh, shut up, Jeff. Their games, uh, for the first time. And right You're now, full? we're going to move to another world premiere announcement. I must not fear. There we go. We gotta change. Fear is the mind killer. This to red as well, so you can see it a bit better. Alright, there we go. Is this fucking this looks like something Fear. It looks like something, guys. You heard it here first. Total there we go. Dune? Is it that fucking movie with the chick out of Spider-Man? What's her name? Um, Zendaya? Is that that movie? Stream I watched was watching the Game Awards last year. Cunt was just playing Minesweeper the whole time. <laughs> uh, probably didn't miss much. Was it any good? And it was alright. Okay. Past, yeah, I never watched it. Is it going to be any gameplay? Is it just going to be like a pre-rendered trailer? Gone, there will be nothing. Oh shit! I think the real question is why are they doing a June game? I mean, I guess because the June movie oh, just came shit. out. It would have been better to have it for the release of the movie or closer. June Awakening, or are they going to try and do like a full universe thing? A June open world survival M oh, MMO. <laughs> Trust me, the fun is just beginning tonight. All right, how many of you out there are fans yeah, it was, of It was looking all right, and then they're like, it's an MMO, and I'm like, well, fucking we've cringe. Got a fun surprise for you. I said, PlayStation, what can we do for all the fans coming together here at Gamescom? And right now, I'm honored to share this global PlayStation announcement with you right here at Gamescom. Most of the time, if I say MMO, I'm just like, nah. Because most of the time, MMO means... I've already... I watched this one today because I'm fucking excited about it. If I say MMO, I'm already like... This has already not got good raps in my book. Because most of the time, I can't be fucked with MMOs. Because it's such a time sink. Like, you need to invest so much time for an MMO to... Like, to actually... If PS2 VR got fucking announced, I, I, I'm sure I would have seen it by now, and that'd be bussin'. I'd, I'd get 10 points for bussin'. Play, new PlayStation Pro Controller, that's a good... That's bussin'. There you go. Oh, what the, the fuck? DualSense Edge, it's a high-performance, ultra-customizable, wireless what PlayStation the fuck just happened? controller designed by PlayStation. And you see there, you can have your own uh, custom control what happened? profiles, uh, customized to your PlayStation. Cringe style. is now good. What the fuck? If you want to learn more about the brand new controller, you can head to PlayStation Blog. And thanks to PlayStation for sharing that announcement with us here at No Gamescom. worries, Jeff. Thank right, you. Next up, the Callisto Thank you, Jeff. Protocol. You guys hyped for that game? No, Jeff. Thank you. Well, joining me now is Glenn Schofield from Striking Distance. Uh, Glenn, we are so excited about this game coming out in December. You came all the way over in the middle of development to Gamescom. We really appreciate it. Uh, how has the response been to Wait, Callisto this so one? far? Man, Jeff, the uh, response has been fantastic uh, for a new IP. I couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, so I want to thank the fans, and uh, I, I want to thank my team for uh, just really killing it. And it's great to be back at Gamescom, man, you know. Well, you got some good stuff for the fans, and we're going to get yep. to that in a second. Um, you brought some gameplay. We saw some great stuff at Summer Game Fest. You brought more. Now, what are we going to see today, Glenn? Yeah, you've got uh, some uh, live gameplay. Uh, we've got two sections. The first one is going to show Fuck, some, no uh, way. some crazy combat. 
And uh, the second one is uh, something new uh, from the game, a little different than what we've shown with a uh, pretty crazy ending. Yes, it is. You guys are going to love this. Uh, one thing I wanted to ask you about was you're known certainly in the team for your work on Both Dead of you Space. Both of you assume I'm going to enjoy this. Strategic dismemberment. I understand you're kind of one-upping things for this game? Well, we got dismemberment, and we've uh, shown so the go core shit. system. Um, and today so we had two cringe, things, right? Uh, including one that we're showcasing called mutations. So uh, uh, enemies may sometimes have these tentacles that come out. And if you don't shoot him, take him out on time. Camera being uh, far this away has done this man a disservice. That fucking chungus he has on him. Bigger, the fucking suit better, pushes faster, out, out meaner, front. And he's going to be what? taking you out. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Well, this is one of my most anticipated games. It's coming out this December. Glenn, thanks to His you and the team for putting like, this together. Let's take a look at brand new It's just new like sticking out from vertically. The Protocol. Oh, Callisto Thank Protocol. You. I'm fucking excited for this. I am very fucking excited for this. Caption on next gen hardware. So the PS6. Because technically it's this gen now. You fucking chuds. It's so it's basically exactly dead space. So it kind of looks like The Last of Us crossed Dead Space. That's pretty cool how you can pick him up and fucking peg him. Oh, okay. Interesting. Man, that seems like a safety hazard. I don't know what sort of ship this is, but that seems like a safety hazard. A wall of fucking grinders. That just seems like a mistake waiting to happen. I'm hoping there will be something good in here. Yeah, it's like that one from Dead Space that keeps fucking healing itself. Throwing the thing. Yeah, get shit on. I was going to say, is that it? It's fucking dark. Those water effects are a bit, a bit uh, pooey. It did, though. When he threw it in, the spinny things had blood on them. You probably just couldn't say it because it's so fucking dark. Oof. That'd be fucking dead. <laughs> it's funny how how fucking dead space it is. Like the coloured health bar thing on his back. The net like space bucket it, it's just dead space. Fucking hell. It's got the flashy death scenes like Dead Space. Kind of got fucking suplexed by that fan. Not gonna lie. Bussin'. Alright, that was pretty good, right? That's bussin'. <laughs> we got lots more covered for you, but right now I want to introduce my co-host for ONL. Melly, Melly, welcome to ONL. Thanks, Jeff. I'm so excited to be here at Gamescom. Hello, everybody. Yeah, the game cover's a bit... How are you going? I'm your guide for tonight for all the happenings around Gamescom. Kind of looks like Returnal really, game really cover, to be honest. I'm really, excited to be here because the heart of gaming is beating once again. And game devs and publishers from all around the world are making their way to Cologne to show you hundreds of new games. So, if you... Hundreds of new games. Yet, 
and still can so come what's by the go is gamescom still going Make okay, sure is there to more to come? To by next year because it is definitely worth a visit. And one of the highlights we have this year is we actually have the largest in the area ever bringing visitors and devs closer together than everywhere, anywhere else in the world. And uh, you can meet the makers of the most original. Okay, like, is there going to be more announcements and shit from games? Games Gamescom? Or is this it? If you're not here and if you can't make it here, do not worry. You can also check out the Indie Arena booth yes. online at Gamescom.global. Jeff, it's back to you. Thank you. Jeffy, boy. Based on Monday, to okay. Other things too, but let's get so right back like to the world premieres. This next one this next is one. one you've been waiting for for a long time to see. Let's take a look at this brand new world premiere. Here we go. What do we got? Muted for YouTube. Elden Ring 2. Elden Ring 2, Ring Harder. I have no idea. I don't know what the fuck this is. The ring job. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah, I don't think I've been waiting for this, to be honest. I don't even know what it is. I feel like I was waiting for it for a long time, I'd know what it is. <laughs> Elden answered. What Elden answer? Oh, it's the Bible too. <laughs> I feel like the actual music it had must have been more dramatic because this music does not suit this at all. <laughs> he ain't crucifying around. <laughs> I still have no idea what this is. It looks like a Souls sort of game, though. No way, the Lords of the Fallen? Fuck yeah, I didn't even, yeah. Been waiting so long for that. That's right, they dropped the two. Uh, the, the Lords of the Fallen. Uh, all right, now it's time for another new game announcement. Is it rude of me to ask to what the fuck the that is? Couch co-op, check this out. I don't even know what to add that to. Are you struggling? It wasn't busting or cringe. Missing your regular FARTs? Have you tried going online? Visit exotic destinations. Move your I was going to actually add a um Apply today. a new one. No skills? No worries. Everybody's welcome. You're hired. Open a door. What's this moving on? Is it moving on DLC or something? Or with a friend. Or I still didn't play. Some played this game. You can do it. Move locally or connect together online. Yeah. Nice one. Coming 2023. Oh, it's moving at two. The 
I guess that's a when as well. I still haven't played the first one. Hogwarts Legacy. Yes, it's time to step into Let's the fucking go. Yeah, I'm excited Legacy. about this. Well, it is coming out in February of 2023, and tonight at Gamescom, we've got the brand new trailer for you to take a look at. I don't want to say much and spoil much. This is an incredible trailer. I hope you enjoy it. The more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the Dark Arts, the best prepared we'll be. If either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Will you? Will you just? Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. None of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. What do we do now? It's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. So this is the fucking dark, dark path, is it? You've made your choice. Don't mind me, I'm just... Should have known to add a win. So we had two for win. What have the two of you done? Balanced as all things should be. I'm really excited for that. Is OBS not letting me drag shit? That's right. It's time to step into the world of Borderlands now. Joining me is the founder of Gearbox Entertainment Company, Randy Pitchford. Randy, great to see you here. Thanks for the intro, uh, Jeff. I think a lot of these guys probably know me from my work at Gearbox creating Borderlands. Any Borderlands fans in the house? Nah, mate. Well, I got good news. I know uh, some of you hardcore folks saw the leak, uh, but I'm here to officially announce new Tales from the Borderlands. So, tell us about this. We remember so we're gonna add Tales that to from the Borderlands. This is new Tales from Borderlands. This, this is new is, characters, new story. It is. You know, I loved the original game, and so that's why we got some of the original storytellers and writers that were back in the day at Telltale yeah. and developed an all-new storyline with all-new characters. Tell you uh, what, I played all the old uh, Harry Potter uh, games uh, and almost all so fucking Gearbox good. Studio, Quebec. Yeah, I think up till... Uh, it's an all-new experience. And, uh, up till the more adult, the like where they started today. to become adults, was good. Let's get the first three, two, I want to say, right? really That's good. That's right. Uh, coming in October of this year. October okay. this year, all platforms. Awesome. Well, let's take a look, Randy. This is exciting. New Tales from the Borderlands. First at Gamescom. Randy, fuck us. Yeah. Most stories in the Borderlands start bloody. They end bloody, too. I'm not going to lie, I didn't play the first Sometimes Tales from the Borderlands. Politics to change the galaxy is a trio of losers trying to get through a bad day. I did see that scene though where he's like shooting with finger guns or something. Leave immediately! This area is now under TDO jurisdiction! They think there was a vault key being kept on the station. If we can find whatever's in that vault before TDO does, we can change our lives! Like, really bad. Tidio has many guns. Talking guns. Guns with legs. I'm gonna blast you so freaking fast. Yeah. Shut up, Richard. <laughs> Wait, that was the guy from the first game, wasn't it? For the better. And now we actually can. But more importantly, we'll be drowning in... I'm going to say when, because I actually did not ask. I wouldn't say it's cringe, though. 
I'm sure Randy can eat a fucking massive cock, but... Uh, don't worry about them. They're just, uh... Yeah, don't worry about them. Probably not going to buy it, to be honest. Not gonna, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you, Randy. I'm probably not going to buy it, eh? Uh, this is going to be Dead Island 2, isn't it? About a species that survived millennia. Homo neanderthalensis. Homo rhodesiensis. Homo erectus. Or is it not? All of them wiped out by the deadliest species of all. Us. I am Astrid. This is the new arena. I hope this isn't Dead Island. Stay alive. The fuck is this? Apparently, Dead Island 2 was shown at this. I hope, I really hope that's. Oh, it is. Oh. For survival, but today you fight for glory. Anyone can be a warrior. What makes you different is the spirit of a champion. Oh, wait, like what? Dead, dead, what? Dying Light 2. Dying Light 2 DLC. Shh, cringe. Red Bull gives you wings. I was going to say, if that was Dead Island 2, that looks fucking shithouse. So you want to join me? Oh, is this that Ubisoft Pirate game? What was that called? Fucking see a lads. Uh, Sign up. It's not. Is this an ad or no? It's an actual thing. Tortuga. Fuck, bro. Most of the time I can't stand those sorts of games. What the fuck is this? Marauders? Eh, it doesn't look shit, but I'm just gonna say... When? All they, all they showed was just like... Some shooting, and then they were like... Buy this game. Is this Warhammer? This is like Warhammer. They will come for us. To savor the fruitless struggle. To its last draw. Destiny? It's who they are. <laughs> There's probably... If, if Grub was to hear me say this looks like Warhammer, he'd probably have a fucking... Enderism. I think I played Destiny 2 for like half an hour and I was like, oh yeah, I'm never gonna play this again. Enemism. Enemism? You, you weren't even, not even close. Not even a little bit close. Lightfall. Oh, Destiny, Destiny 2 Lightfall. Uh, a cringe. The Gamescom Awards will be handed out to the winners of the best games on the show floor. Only some of you, my industry friends and colleagues, is treat each other. What's this for? Thank you so much. Warhammer 40,000 Dark Tide. Most wanted PC game.
Uh, and Gamescom will be eligible to be nominated, and the awards will be streamed on all Gamescom channels, so make sure to tune in. But tonight, I'm allowed to hand out four awards. I'm very, very excited Destiny about that. Destiny logo still looks like and a penis. Say, let's jump straight into it, starting with the most wanted PC game. Here are your nominees. Let's see what this, what's the go here. Most Battle wanted PC Hell games. Singer. System Shock. System Shock. Warhammer 40,000. Surely Dark System Tide. Shock wins, because fucking everyone wants that. And the winner is. Metal Helsinger! And here to accept the award is Sheila Vikstrom, executive producer at The Outsiders. The stage is yours. Am I rude to say what the fuck is that? Thank you so much. Wow, this is a lot of people. Uh, I was practicing my speech a lot, but of course, you know, when it's um, as much people as there is right now, you'll blank. Um, but I want to say that I thought I System Shock would have won for sure. On behalf Sonic Hedgehog fans out there. Oh no. Sonic has had a pretty oh, good year no. with the uh, Sonic 2 movie, oh, which was a no. ton of fun this year. Well, Sonic Frontiers. It's going to be Sonic Frontiers. We got a brand new trailer oh. for you and confirmation ah, of the look release away. date too. Check this out. The Unity Asset Flip game. <laughs> Breath of the Sonic. Your reckless actions endanger the world. Yeah, Bioshock was like a spiritual successor to System Shock, pretty much. Is, why does Sonic sound like that? Oh, shit! All right! Amy! Sonic sounds like he's been a chronic smoker for the last 40 years. I don't know where to put that. There you go. It is coming this year, Sonic Frontiers. All right. Well, now another European studio wanted to use Gamescom ONL as a platform to announce another narrative experience. This comes from a French studio. Check this out. I'm going to say when, because I'm probably not going to buy it. There hasn't been a lot bussin', and one of the bussin' things was a fucking controller. We leave so many things behind us. British guy. Good. Objects. <laughs> British guy, cringe. Memories. Mistakes. Ha ha, I'm British, I'm a submarine. In a... Is he British? In time. Touch the bottom and go to sleep. Silence is full. Oh, that looks interesting. Voices can only come from the deep. Deep under the waves. I'm not going to lie. That looks interesting. Guys, I'm going to say It's time for the goats. Bussin. Ready for some goats? That actually no looks interesting. Goats today, but we are here to talk about Goat Simulator 3. We got to announce this back at Summer Game Fest. And now it's time to see the gameplay of Goat Simulator 3 for the first time. Let's check this one out.
hell is this? I'm guessing this is another one that was muted for YouTube because it's just like stock music. Yeah, it looks exactly what I remember from the first game, to be honest with you. I mean, I feel like, I, I don't know, I feel like this sort of game, you can only sort of get so much out of it before it's like, yeah, right. Why have they got like the Fallout font and logo style? November 17th, that has literally about everything you could imagine in it. Uh, Goat Simulator 3. All right. A lot of people ask me how I got started in the industry. And what I loved doing when I was a kid with my brother, we would play PC adventure games. And I grew up playing classic Jeff, I actually Arts did not ask. Get on with Monkey the announcement, Allen, cunt. Chance? Well, I am so excited because there is a new Monkey Island in development right now. Ron Gilbert, the series creator, is back. You may have heard about it. Return to Monkey Island. And tonight at Gamescom, I am so excited that we get to announce... Fuck, no way. I actually didn't even finish Actually, the first one. We get to go to Stan to tell us the release date. Check this out. Friends, it's your old pal Stan coming to you through the magic of marketing to let you know that your search What's for quality style? entertainment is about to bear fruit. But I wouldn't be doing my job if I just dropped the details on you without a little build-up. I want you to see the kind of fine dining establishments you'll be visiting, like this one. Get lost. And if escapism is your cup of flavor, that art style is a bit much better than this exotic and extremely remote island. Stay back. How did you find me? Return to Monkey Island launches September 19th, which yeah, that art to be a bit shit. International Talk Like a Pirate Day. But you don't have to wait. You can order it right now, before it's even out. Something we in the marketing industry call a pre-order. As a bonus, I'm ready to unload this shipment of beautiful horse armor to anyone who pre-orders Return to Monkey Island. It'll look fantastic in your inventory. Oi, you missed a spot. I've got to go now. I've got a lot of irons and a lot of fires. You know how it is. But I'll be back to steal every scene I'm in in Return to Monkey Island. I'll see you there. All pre-order customers nice will the dig there. horse armor item in their inventory. Please note that the horse armor has no practical use in game and in no way will contribute to the gameplay puzzles or narrative of Return to Monkey Island. Switch and PC only, but looks like that. I'm going to say when. Oh my god. A month away. So I still haven't. I, I, I played the first one, but never actually finished it. Because the puzzles were that nonsensical that I was just now, like, you can fuck to off. The world of unknown worlds, the creators of Subnautica. As we've teased, they are here today at Gamescom to unveil Subnautica, a another game IP, that I never played properly. Departure from Subnautica. It's a brand new turn-based sci-fi game, and uh, we're going to reveal it for the first time right here. Actually, special guest is. Let's check this out. Turn-based sci-fi. I'm Brandon Sanderson. You might know hey, me Brandon. as the author of the Mistborn series, the Stormlight Archive, or as the guy who finished Robert Jordan's Wheel of Time. Over the last few years, nope. I've been working closely with my friends at Unknown Worlds on the exciting project we're revealing I don't today. know uh, you from any of those. Unknown Worlds for creating immersive and fantastical worlds like the incredible Subnautica series. When they reached out to me, I was absolutely thrilled to help craft the expansive sci-fi universe in which their next game is set. This secret has been a hard one to keep, and we're so excited to finally show you what we've created together. So, without further ado, this is Moonbreaker. Moonbreaker. What's... <laughs> I don't know if I'm asking too much, but that's just like the most boring title. Welcome to the party. <laughs> exactly, LP. No, literally no one asked. 
I'm already gonna say cringe because this looks not good. Most of the time with turn-based games, I just cannot be bothered. Yeah, nah. Ah, uh, shit. Not gonna lie, this looks fucking awful. Looks like Overwatch in a turn-based game, and I fucking hate it. Ah, model painting's pretty cool, but it's not enough to make me buy it. To be honest, I'd probably be more excited about this game if it was just the model painting. Literally could not and care less about that. Unknown worlds is Charlie Cleveland. Charlie Moonbreaker. Charlie, it's real and it's talk so to the fucking. Don't even bother. Oh shit. A month away, Moonbreaker. Charlie, thank you so much for coming. Yeah, cheers, Charlie. Thank you. Uh, Loved you your talk. Loved everything you had to right, say. Charlie yeah, Cleveland, fuck off. Worlds. See ya. Thank you so much, Charlie. Bye. Yeah, keep walking, Charlie. Fucking get out of here. Time to reveal another game with a very catchy tune in the trailer. Check this out. Keep walking, Charlie. Don't turn around. Let me tell you about the friends that invested all they had on a shady site that looked like a scam. It said buy this magic card to play the coolest game and fight against your friends with no consequence. <laughs> Looks interesting. I don't know if I'd say bussin though. Inspired by the familiar story of Pinocchio, Lies of P is a new I'm gonna say when for that one. Souls like but... game that is coming out from Neo Wiz and you got so, Pinocchio right. on his unrelenting journey to become human. This game looks absolutely great, and we've got a brand new gameplay trailer to show you. And this game is also coming to Xbox Game Pass on day one. Let's check it out. Xbox Game Pass on day one. Another Souls like game. I'm pretty sure I follow I have this wish listed on Steam. This city is falling apart. Chaos. Madness. But if it's a Souls like, I probably won't. What the fuck? Bro, it's on your face. To 
it, is it a salt lock? It's a souls. Oh, okay, I'm probably not gonna get it then. Finally, Dad. We meet, son. Oh shit! Called it. The stage is set. <laughs> the light shines brightest in the darkest of times. <laughs> All right, buddy, I'm here for you. True, we're watching it right now. Games I'm gonna say now. That's right. All the fun Cringe. games come is available from wherever you are online, obviously. And well, in case you're wondering, because I cannot be fucked with Souls likes, is. honestly. Elden Ring was good, but it was an exception. To save the games converse from the evil future. Nah, it was and easily a cringe. Him, check out the epic section at gamescom.global. You can solve quests and win prizes. Liza, so uh, fucking, are where are we? What the fuck? What the fuck are we in space? What the fuck is happening? Okay. Yeah, because Borderlands I might actually play at some point. Life of, is it Life of Pi, I keep thinking of Life of Pi, like that fucking movie. But if it's a, if it's a Souls like, a nine, it's a very real chance I'm not going to play it at all. I, I have no idea, Biz. I thought that was tribute for a second. Dun, 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 dun. What is this? Nah, this one's definitely the Bible too. 100%. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I got excited. Stranded Alien Dawn. And then I did it again. Why are you doing that to me? Boom, boom. What is it like a town thing? Well, we were looking at games for Gamescom Opening Night Live. Uh, one of the things I'm I was most when. impressed with this year is there are a lot of European studios that want to debut games here, and also a lot of brand new IP, brand new worlds. And we're going to introduce one of those to you right now, and I think you're going to get pretty excited about it. Check out this world premiere. Am I going to get excited? Because so far we've got four bussin', eight cringe, and eight when. Not looking good. Spaceman with a rock. Is this June again? The sand has memories. It's definitely June again. Memories of our past. When gods 
warped this world. Ha ha, I'm British. And our heroes stood amongst them. This is British sand. But the gods Fuck off, Tack. Grew. And in their struggle, we were cast away. You like San Andreas, moot point. And on the sixth day, God looked down and searched for who asked, and he could not find them exactly. Oh, is this that one that they announced at one of the other events? Of this shattered, broken world. That f I can't remember what it was called. It kind of like an Assassin's Creed style game or something. Days Gone was good. I don't know what you're talking about. Do you ever find yourself watching like a a pre-rendered trailer and you're just like but what are you? Like I understand pre-rendered trailers for like games that are like Even in ruins, very well known and it's like a sequel or something but like when I don't even know we what sort play. of game it is, I feel like I'm just like, cool. We can stand for I don't know if that's just me, but yeah, exactly, Tack. And face gods. See, like, what the fuck is that? I don't even know what you are. Oh, here we go. Gameplay. When? Atlas Fallen coming in 2023. Now, a classic strategy game that I remember playing in the late 90s is Homeworld. Did anyone else play that back in the day? You know, I take it back. I'm going to put PC that space, um, RTS. Well, a brand new Homeworld is Life of Pay game year. in the when. Uh, and we've got a brand new look at some new gameplay from Homeworld. Yeah, exactly, Biz. I don't even know. Okay, what do we got here? Homeworld 3 is at the game. It was a simple perimeter scan, escorting resources. But we were ambushed by Kalan raiders. Fighters were no problem. Can already tell you, I'm not going to like this. It's were a different story. Command got clever. One wing used cover to keep themselves safe on approach. Ah, uh, shit. Can I skip this? While another group found a tunnel in the structure to sneak behind them. It's just, yeah, I, I'm not interested by this in the slightest. It worked. But just before a carrier battle group arrived. No way. Bombers. Perfect for attacking capital ships. They did not bring whatever he just said in. We protected the resources while they hauled in the goods. Which meant we could roll out assault frigates. Oh, ho, ho. you're done, assault frigates. Were pushovers, but command countered their hit. Fuck, you are done when you bring out the assault frigates. Beautiful. And we even grabbed a little souvenir. <laughs> that missile frigate is ours now. <laughs> Cheeky bastards. Yeah. Okay, Bussin. This ten points to Bussin for this one. Did I already put this one in shit? Yeah, I think I did. Homeworld 3 in the first half of 2023. Now, today is a big day. Speaking Fuck, of I know what game I'm not buying in the first half of 2023. That one. Genshin Impact. 
uh, which is an incredible action RPG from Hoyoverse. Well, today we've got an exclusive new look at version 3.0 and the new Rainforest Nation, as well as a sneak peek of a mysterious ancient civilization and settlement that is found deep inside. It's the not desert. serious. Let's take a look at this world premiere. I've already got a headache. I've already got a fucking headache. I'm gonna preempt. I'm gonna say <clears throat> cringe. Oh shit. <laughs> For some reason, that fucking skipped. <laughs> Can't see. Actually, let me check. I'm pretty sure I know why that just skipped. I don't think I actually ever got rid of. Oh, here we go. That's why. Uh, delete. Hope my new stuff is actually working properly. Guess we'll find out. Alright. Wait, what? Why do I lick my lips? Go. Don't ask stupid questions. Is this Genshin 3.0? Fuck yes! Been waiting so long. Oh my god. Oh. It's been such a long time since I fucking asked. <laughs> There you go, clip that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Why is this one of the longest ones so far? They do a Dinkum update trailer? Fucking, I wish. Isn't Genshin on Xbox? Lucky cunts. What an absolutely beautiful game. And that's not all from Hoyoverse, because they also have Honkai Star Rail in development. It's a grand interstellar adventure strategic turn-based combat. And now we're going to take a new look at the story and adventure that awaits you in Honkai Star Rail. <laughs> oh, no. He goes, that's not all. They got this other game, and now we're going to show you that too. Fucking... Who knows, it could be good. Being optimistic. No. No. No chance. <laughs> of five people, three must pay a price. You are not one of them, Jin Yuan. Ah, uh, what? It's like eating sour warheads. It's like ah. You are one of them. Where? How hard do you reckon I have to hit myself in this part of the brain to like to get this? this? Like man, just. He... The train is about to make the jump. Hold on, everyone. Is it about to make the jump into the universe where I fucking asked? That's impossible. Hello again. It is now time for our next Gamescom award, and here are your nominees for the most wanted Microsoft Xbox game. Most wanted Microsoft Xbox game. What do we got? What do we got? The dark picture. Oh fuck yeah! I'm so keen for this. 
The last case of Benedict Fox. Yeah, it's like a Metroid Bunny, I couldn't care less. Metal Hellsinger. Isn't it the one that just won last time? Surely um devil in and me. And the winner is the last case of Benedict Fox! And here to accept the award is Bartek Leszczakowski, creative director at Plot Twist. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. It's, yeah, congrats. Uh, quite of a shocker for us. Uh, most anticipated Xbox game, I think it was. And it was um, The Devil in Me, which is the next one from the people who make The Quarry in Until Dawn. Uh, the Benedict Fox one, which is like a Metroidvania by the looks of it. And um, that Metal Hellsinger that won the last award. DM. Fuck out of here. <laughs> uh, young. Oh, this is that, um, that one from the Rick and Morty creators. Wait, did I add? I didn't. I don't think I added another cringe for um for that Genshin space train one. So we're gonna add cringe. Fuck you. Are you even a real bounty hunter? Trevor saves the universe. Trevor saves the universe too. It's fucking going hard. Exactly, Biz. I like, um... Squishy on the inside is the rest of them. Let me add a bounty hunter. Wow, we were having our first real boss fight together. Yeah, not gonna lie. I like Rick and Morty, but... That knife just that knife just killed me. That's the only thing I've found r really funny so far. I'm the strongest out of all the torn clones. I'm impressed you made it this far. My ex soldiers are extremely. I got my Discord DMs to let me post video. Real? Wait, what? You should be able to post videos to me. It's not something I've turned off. Just stay alive. I think she's basically done for. What is happening? I am life. I don't know what where to put that. It was sort of just like Okay. Uh, do you see that? What? When? I'm gonna put it into when? It's not cringe, but mm. yeah. What is it? Wait, what are you? Dude, don't eat. Is that. this metaverse? Come on, dude. Dude. You know she's gonna eat it. What? Yep. No. No. Told you. Gross. What the fuck was that? Put that into cringe. I don't know what the fuck it was, but it's going to cringe. Why is there no audio? What is this? <clears throat> Probably 
probably muted by YouTube. I'll put on some of our music while you wait. This is going through a bunch of different games that are... Oh, that, that's already out. I actually want to play that. PUBG Mobile. Yuck. Can't believe I bought PUBG that time. Yeah, GTFO actually looks pretty good. Oh, here we go. You've been selected from among thousands of candidates. Hey, Cutter. To join the Lynx family. You're from Earth, right? This is more than just a job. What is this? An opportunity. You ever miss it? Caution. Oh, shit, oh, shit. Lynx. Making the world a better place. What they say about work in space is true. You don't have power here. Is this gonna be like fucking pressure wash sim but in space? Salvaging sorta. Actually, looks pretty good. Wait, is it out? Is it already out? I guess I'll put it on the bus and list. I don't know if it counts because it's already out, but I'll. This isn't a game announcement. This is an ad. <laughs> oh shit. Fuck. Go back. Fuck. Alright, we go. Jeffy boy, what do you got for us? First announced back at the Game Awards, Telltale's next project is based on the Prime video series The Expanse. Well, we showed you a Never little bit of the trailer it. at the Game Awards to set up the world. Now you're going to get a first glimpse at the gameplay. With How far are we through? Play. Enjoy. Okay, we're over halfway. Expanse is obviously one of those. Yeah, that, 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 that has, that Uncle Toby's protein ball ad is fucking stories. garbage. One of the things I'm super excited <coughs> about is the zero G stuff that we've been doing. A big part of when we're making the game, not only are we thinking about the characters, we also have to think about how can we evolve. Deck Nine, aren't they the guys who did um, players excited uh, Life is Strange? This universe and feel like they're engaging in something rather than just being a passive audience member. You'll figure something out. I know you will. It's actually been a really interesting thing as an actor to explore some of her more vulnerable sides that by the time we meet her in the series, they've been cauterized. <laughs> because the score drummer. Has anyone seen? Score any nah, Telltale got bought out. They died and then they got bought. You'll need me if you want any chance of unloading it. Because remember, The Wolf Among Us 2 is coming out, which I'm fucking excited for. The craziness of an uh, exploded ship that now constitutes several parts in a mass, and you can move them on. And balancing that Has anyone here seen The Expanse? Like, is it, like is it good? Story. That's a I've never seen story. it. Those are people. Those are characters. And you are now among the ghosts. Whatever they were doing right before they died. Being a scavenger, pretty dark job. It's Among Us 2. 
we're really excited about how it feels to both play and experience the story in the game. I'm gonna add it to when because I don't even I've never seen the show, so it's probably gonna be useless to me. Bunch of fucking heads though. Yeah, Deck Knight are the ones who did um Life is Strange, I'm pretty sure. Speaking of adapting things from one medium to another, here's a film adaptation that uh, into a game, which I don't think you would have ever expected. Check this out. What was that, Jeff? Check this out. This is a movie adaption into a game I don't think you ever would have ex expected, Chase. What the fuck is this? one of those multiplayer horror games like Friday the 13th. Cringe. It's one of those like Dead by Daylight style Ghost games that could not be clowns. fucked. We got it all tonight at opening night live. Uh, now we've got another brand new game announced from a European publisher for a sci-fi action adventure. Here we go. Fucking give They could have just done Dead by Daylight and added those skins. It'll be basically the same game. Fuck, always immune for YouTube. The fuck is this? There are secrets. Kind of looks like Returnal. Now we're going to talk about <coughs> Gamescom Goes Green, which is an initiative that has made Gamescom the first climate-friendly gaming event in the world. The core I guess that looks good. Show it looks like Return. Live, I'm happy to say are 100% climate neutral for the first time, and that's something we all should be very proud of. Um, like, I understand Friday the 13th because those films are relatively well known. Yeah, Killer Clowns, not going to lie, I've actually United never even Nations heard of it. Environmental per Program Initiative Playing for the Planet are going to give out the first ever Gamescom Goes Green Award to the best sustainability concept from an exhibitor here at Gamescom. And the nominees are Microsoft Xbox, Yuki, and the Indie Arena booth. And to find out the winner, let's turn it over to Melly. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. And yes, the winner of this year's Gamescom Goes Green Award is Yuki. And here to accept the award is Dr. Joe Twist, CEO of Yuki. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you, Gamescom, for this wonderful award. It's brilliant to be Yeah, no worries, Thank you buddy. Thank you to the Yuki team who works so hard every That's, day. To yeah, no, yeah, cheers. Thanks for your time. Let's go back a bit. And also make a change by donating uh, to the Gamescom prize. I don't give a so fuck about this game when Miss Lands is coming. Jeff, <laughs> 
Awesome. Thank you. Fucking, where's the Mistlands announcement, cunts? Uh, now it's time to announce a brand new game from a new studio of industry veterans working on an ambitious new RPG. Here's the first tease. Word song. I don't know what that is, but it's a thing. Four at three. Oh, is this that, um, is this that ob obsidian one? In the crux of reality, there exists Apparently not. two lies. One before the shadow. Might be good because Fallout 3 was there. Behind the eye. But it could also be shit because New Vegas was there. Yeah, so Fallout 3 and I'm like, ah, oh, then New Vegas and I was like, ah. Oh. What the fuck was that? Lots of news here at Gamescom. All right, let's talk about Xbox and Age of Empires what 4. What the fuck was that? Expand. Now we have news on the next civilization. That's, that's the battle definitely as when. Free DLC. If you want to learn more about what's happening with Age of Empires 4, tune into the Xbox booth stream for developer interviews on Thursday. But right now, here's that announcement from Age of Empires 4. Age of Empires 4, hey? more than one way to win a battle and every empire must find their own they would put smoke on the water in the background i know right that's like I, I like a guy standing in front of a moon and then the moon changes to a different guy standing in front of a different moon and they're like buy this game and i'm like no and strategy to outmaneuver their opponents and gain the advantage on the battlefield With powerful siege tools and the ability to rally large formations, the Ottomans can keep the pressure on to bring down their enemies' defenses. I'm gonna put this in when because it doesn't look shit. I might play it one day, but yeah, it's smoke on the water. Fire in the sky. Is in the making, and your place in it has just begun. Yeah, it's definitely copping a win. Ah, oh. is Age of Empires 4 actually out? I actually didn't even know. Time to oh. head to Gotham. You guys excited for Gotham Knights? I was fucking hoping no one would cheer then. <laughs> yeah, I'd first see it as well. Are gonna take over in Gotham Knights. You're probably wondering about the story. Who are the villains? Well, we've got a lot to share in this brand new trailer, and also some exciting news. The release date is gonna be a little earlier than you expected. Check this out. Yeah, it could have been so good. Jim Gordon never gave up on anything. Ah. Oh. Wait, That's did Gordon die in City is still here. Arkham Knight? That's why I'm still here. And I've known for a while now that someday, like him, I'd have to work with you. I've seen plenty of criminals in my career, but nothing could have prepared me for this. Well, well, if it isn't Brat Girl. Gotham City is at her weakest. Uh, yeah, we did. We did the pace in five again. And the sharks are circling. They're all making their move. Play nice. But we aren't going to give up. A storm has risen over Gotham. Nothing can stop it. <laughs> See you at the premiere. I really want. 
I really want this to be good. I need your help. Your skills. Your because I fucking love the Arkham games, but I don't think it's gonna be. Your adaptability. Ooh, Court of Owls. You got my back? This biopic is based on a true story. My story. True. The world will feel the cold as I do. I got one last little surprise for you. I enjoyed Arkham Knight. It was fucking scuffed as shit on PC, but. Nah, I'm just here to kick your ass. I'm interested just because of the Court of Owls. Pretty good trailer, right? October 21st now for Gotham Knights. October 21st. Right, now it's time to announce a brand new game from Fuck, new studio. That's soon. The global announcement of the ambitious new adventure game developed by Everstone Games. I'm going to say when Where because it's not quite button. It's an interactive open world it's RPG. It's not exactly cringe. I'm just going to say when. Martial arts set in a turbulent time in the Northern Song Dynasty. The combat looks really cool. Check out this announcement of Where Winds Meet. Where Winds Meet, hey. Where Winds Meet. <laughs> Tell you what game I um I want to play is that Sifu game. Speaking of martial arts, that looks pretty good, and the concept was pretty cool too. I'm gonna play the single box game. Can't I want a zinger box? I'm straight vibing, boys. Oh no. Oh no. That's no good. You gonna show me some gameplay or what? This kind of looks like Ghost of Tsushima. Okay, it looks like a less interesting Ghost of Tsushima. The combat looks a bit... I'm not gonna lie, I don't like the look of this so much. Exactly, Young, exactly. I'm not gonna lie, this looks pretty cringe. People that ask, mate. So nowhere, because no one asked. Why can't is have a game like Ghost of Tsushima where it's not like full fucking weeby? 
Because this looks really, like, weeby. Not gonna lie. Where wins meet? Again, so much new IP tonight. It's really cool. All right. Because we've spent money. True. Casual. casual. True. How are you, casual? What's going on? Here in person, How are you uh, on this fine evening? Show. And this probably year, when I told him that we were going to be back here live in person, he said, well, i got to take part in some way. Uh, so please uh, say hello to my good friend, Hideo Kojima. Mr. Kojima? How did I know when he was fucking talking about someone he loves that it was going to be Kojima? Is this going to be that game he fucking announced for uh, Xbox?え、このたび9月から、え、僕のポッドキャスト番組を Wait, what the fuck? Oh, I'm a fool. I'm a fool. Wait up, wait up, wait up, wait up. I forgot to open... forgot to open my fucking... VTuber program thing before the stream started. That's what I was forgetting. Is that, is that sharp? Yep. There we go. Oh, no. Last year, there we go. Night Live, we announced Park Beyond. That Olympic is cringe. And Dynamco, and this year, they've got an I awesome, like Kojima uh, games. I find them hard to play, though. It's make me and for those of you at asking. Home, we've got a brand new trailer that shows you more of this incredible Yeah, not going to lie. Death Stranding was fucking shit. <laughs> I hated it. And what is this? Here is a little something to is this metaverse? You. Be creative. Mm -hmm. <sighs> this is definitely metaverse. Or is it like Roller Coaster Tycoon or some shit? Yeah, fuck, I hated Death Stranding, hey. Oh, LP, I fucking tried it, and it was just so fucking boring. <laughs> like, everyone was like, the story was fucking sick. And, like, you just walk around and carry boxes from place to place in between story. Job, and I'm like, guys. that doesn't it sound fun. That sounds like something I'd watch a story synopsis of. Couldn't we go a step beyond? What is this? What is this? This is definitely a bit like Roller Coaster Tycoon or some shit, isn't it? Park Beyond. Coming soon. Park Beyond. I guess I win. It's like, I'm not really. So much fun. Yeah. I love the diversity of games we have here. Amusement Park Simulator. I love Theme Park back in the day. Great to see that's coming out uh, from Limbic and Bandai Namco. All right, now it's time to share. Looks like a Wendigo. Special <laughs> announcement here at Gamescom. Not a have you heard of assistant cousin of when did I ask? Car. That's right, it's here at Gamescom, and I got to catch up with Oliver Heimer, the head of mini design. Let's check it out. What is it? I heard car. All right, I'm over here at the mini booth with Oliver. This is the mini concept Aceman reveal. This looks so Thick. cool. Oh, not too flat. Yeah, you like it. Well, let's Perfect take a and learn more in a the nice 80 degree angle. What? All 
Oh, this looks so cool. I have so many questions for you, Oliver. Uh, first of all, I want to ask you about this partnership uh, a car with gaming features and Pokemon. How did this come together? Yeah, first of all, let's talk about Gamescom. You know, yeah. Gamescom is... Look, I love um, Pokemon. One of the I fucking love Pokemon. Of, uh, but cringe. Culture. And as we ourselves... Are fucking cringe. Culture. All right, moving on. Stay tuned. Awesome. Stay tuned. Right, I definitely Oliver, will not. Thank you so much. And we've got much more. Hey, all Grubhow, I am yeah, mad dog. Yeah, fucking moving on from that. That's cringe. Warhammer. Is this um Tide is a first person co op game Vermintide. in the grim dark future? Isn't that um Destiny? Is this Destiny? Welcome to Tertium. Tertium, yeah, that's that planet from Destiny. On the brink of destruction. You are a reject. A convict free to serve the Inquisition in this darkest of hours. It is your duty to fight. And if necessary. Die for the Emperor. You yeah, I called Destiny no Warhammer power. earlier. Is this Destiny 3? No reinforcements. You nah, it's definitely New Vegas 2 because it looks shit. <clears throat> that actually doesn't look too bad, eh? Literally just killing floor. I'm probably gonna add it to when because it looks it doesn't it's not cringe, but I wouldn't say it's busting either. I'm gonna say when. Once upon a time, there the parasite. Sisters. Fuck, Rob, they made a game about you, bro. And Yaga. You got it all wrong. Once upon a time, what? there was a fight. What? Yeah, you can't hide from Baba. Everyone knows that. This dick. What the hell is wrong with this forest? Head straight to the red oak. That kind of looks bussin'. Not gonna lie. Dunno. Red Bull gives you wings. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on when. What the fuck is this? So you say that, Grub, but we've seen a bunch tonight that are just like absolutely no information. Phantom Hellcat. When? Fuck is this? Crossfire. Isn't isn't this already out? I thought this game was already out.
Just tapped over and saw Brian. Brian is still live. Got 15 cans deep and is a mess. Oh, is he fucking... <laughs> is he... And now fucking out of it. I'm gonna say that's cringe because like there is more on Saturday, so looks make sure to not, not good. miss our award show on Saturday. But here are your nominees for the most wanted Sony PlayStation game. Most wanted PlayStation game. Surely God of War. The dark pictures, the devil in me. I'm fucking keen for that. Lies of P. So they're not ex I thought One it'd be exclusives. Odyssey. One Piece Odyssey. Surely Devil in Me. And the winner is... Lies of P! Here to accept the award is G1 Choi Project Director at Neowiz. The stage is yours. Oh, thank you. Uh it was made by four students in Berlin. It was a big uh, One success Piece on our right. Is that still a thing? Is that I, I don't even know if that's still a thing. Right now. What the fuck is this? Oh, the music. Yeah, I know. I'm going to add that to uh, a when. He's that out of it. Someone redeemed dry scoop. He reached into the tub with his hand and threw it dark. The at Charlie. <laughs> you guys excited for this? Fuck game? it, Al. The Outlast Trials we showed you last year at Gamescom Open Night Live. <laughs> Fuck off, crap. We haven't heard anything since, really, from the team. And everyone uh, keeps asking me, typical when are we going to get to play this? Well, tonight, we've got the world premiere of the brand new trailer. And yes, some news on when you might get to play it. <laughs> when? We go. got some news on when. What the fuck is this? Look at that pretty face. This looks pretty mad. Manhunt three, imagine. What's that thing that keeps popping up? The final confession. Elaborate and inclusive. Rather than terse. For an even greater emphasis upon the experience of personal rebirth. The chef went out to the best of the book and the end of our attempt for the book and end Political criminals are subjected to a literally fatal dispensing of existence. This is Outlast. Ooh. That's right. Some people will get to play something this year. I saw the, the fucking um, right. Murkoff symbol. That's what that thing was. That was awesome. Which a lot of the veterans that looks fucking awesome. Franchise in Stockholm, Sweden. They've got a shooter right That looks really fucking good. I'm excited for that. that where destruction is going to play a key role. What we've got here is a short tease with some actual gameplay in it. The full reveal is coming later in September. You can sign up uh, starting now to get in to start playing. Yeah, that looks so good. I'm excited for that. The finals. That's probably one of the things tonight that I've been like about. The fuck is this? 
This looks like a fucking, um... All right. We got one more game for you tonight. The fuck was that? Opening night live, and this is one we've all been waiting. That's cringe. A long time for. Looks like shit. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. What's he been your fave so far? Uh, I'm gonna say probably Outlast, maybe. Muted. Right. What a tune. Stock music. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Dead, uh, Dead Island 2. So he's infected, obviously. Why do they have to use copyrighted music? Just give me some fucking gameplay. Fuck me dead, cunt. Oh. One thing about watching these fucking, like, announcement shows, by the end I'm just like, fucking just give me gameplay. Fuck. Yeah, it's Dead, dead Island 2 for sure. Like, this literally tells me nothing about the gameplay. Oh, the first game's trailer was awesome. I mean, it didn't show any gameplay, so... But, yeah. Exactly, Cowboy, exactly. Wasn't it... Wasn't this game announced at, like, the Xbox One announcement thing? Is that right? So, I remember what... I'm pretty sure it was at the... Yeah. Xbox One announcement thing. Because it was alongside, like, Dead Rising 3 and Rise of Son of Rome and shit like that. That literally gave me nothing. Oh, so it's in LA. See you in LA. It's true, Dead Island 2 so, coming next February. I'm just gonna pause this real quick. <laughs> Wait. I I have no idea about him. Where's LA in com in comparison to San Francisco? Is it far away? I don't fucking know. Um Son of Rome is actually a pretty good game. I never played it. Um, I can't remember what I was going to say now. Anyway, back to Joining it. me now to tell us about this long-awaited game is Khan. Khan, great to South of Fran by a few hours. Uh, first of okay. all, let's explain a little context to that trailer we saw. Who is that character that we meet? Thank you, Jeff. It's great to be here. Uh, so you just met Jacob, and he is just one of our six playable characters. Our zombie slayers okay. have larger-than-life personalities and unique dialogue, which fits in with a very pulpy and irreverent tone, as you could tell. Uh, I see the tagline there, uh, see you in hell A, so it looks like we're heading to, uh, to Los Angeles in this game? Well, uh, our pulpy tone is kind of a love letter to classic cult Hollywood horror B-movies, so where better to set it than in Los Angeles, uh, sort of a mo modern paradise gone to hell. Oh yeah, it looks uh, looks cool. <laughs> it's obviously, I ha uh, this is I'm already feeling like the characters they're like larger than life, fucking blah blah blah. I already get the feeling they're going to be like the uh, back for blood characters, where they're just insufferable cunts.
Oh, so I'm skipping all this. I don't give a fuck. Okay, let's do it. Here's your first look at the gameplay of Dead Island Oh, here we go. Thanks, Con. Gameplay. Here we go. Did I rate this yet? Did I put this in anything? I don't think I have. Oh. Fuck off, Tack. Yeah, sick gameplay. Stand the fuck back. It's hammer time. Really? This way for the happy ending. Jimmy? So that whole pre-rendered thing was okay with the blood splattering everywhere, but taking off this cunt's head was just not on. Yeah, right. And that... What? Humanity's survival depends on the red gold pumping through my veins. Well, sounds like you're the star of the show now. This motherfucker! I wonder if there's going to be any, like, relation to the first game. I'm not getting this censorship. Am I the only one who prefers, like, when they actually just show gameplay, like, happening as it would? Not, like, this fucking over-the-top music fucking jump cuts to fucking different parts of the game. And it's like, just let me fucking see what, like... <sighs> ah! <laughs> I'm going to put that in, sh in uh, cringe. Just for the fucking shit trailers. And believe it or not, there is an uncut version of that trailer you can watch. Believe online. it or not, I more. don't right, give well, a fuck. Dead Island 2 coming in February, and that <sighs> is going to wrap up all the reveals for Gamescom opening night live 2022. Uh, it's been a fun show, but before we go, I just want to say I hope everyone has a great Gamescom. Uh, there's lots of live streams for the next couple of days, lots of things for you guys to go and play and check out here on the show floor. And as for me and the team, well, we're going to go back to Los Angeles and get ready for the Game Awards 2022, which I'm excited to announce will be live on Thursday, December the 8th. 2022 from the Microsoft Theater in Los Angeles. We've got lots of great stuff we're working on for that. But until then, hope you guys have a great Gamescom. Thanks so much for being a part of Opening Night Live. We'll see you soon. Yeah. Cheers, Jeff. Yeah, okay. All right. Well. Okay. Yeah, stats aren't good, eh? Stats aren't great. Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah, so that's not a very good hit rate. To be honest. Um, yeah. Hmm. bit disappointing i was hoping there'd be more so when we really come down to it so we got well, let's let's say six out of that because one of them was a ps5 controller which really i shouldn't have even rated because it's not a game 